The Legacy of Wisdom Project gathers and publishes answers to many of humanity's most pressing questions from some of our most experienced and profound leaders. Can you speak a little bit about how to, as I write here, how can I honor my biography without the overwhelming quality of nostalgia or um, conditioning that, it, that it, it has? Well, that's a great question, Jay. And of course, we all have our background, our family history, and you and I share our New York, you know, clannish kind of history. And it goes along with the sense of humor and our way of questioning and laughing at the absurdity of things and not just being very a gullible, um, innocent in the world. So we all have nature and nurture, as we know how we're brought up and the chromosomes and the genes and the, the nature, what we are given or come in with, and then nurture, how it's nurtured, that determines us. And karma is similarly like that. There is a combination of free will and determinism, that we're conditioned to do what we did before, and think like we did before, but we can also intercede and choose to do and think differently. So we have some freedom. So it's not what happens to us, but what we make of it that makes all the difference in our life. It's not just the cards we're dealt in, in our hand, but how we play the game that matters. So that's very relevant then to how we hold our story, how attached we are to our personal story, our miserable childhood or whatever anybody did to us or not, and, and how we can become masters rather than victims of conditions and circumstances and history so that we can transform and so that we can integrate who we were with who we are and who we can become so we can go beyond our self-imposed limitations based on our past conditioning so the bad news is we're heavily conditioned the good news is it's just conditioning it can be reconditioned and deconditioned so we can't control the winds but we can learn how to sail and navigate better we don't have to be blown away by the winds of outer weather or, or karma and conditioning. We can learn how to sail and navigate better, even tack up wind into the wind when we know how to sail. So that's the secret of self-mastery and freedom. And then we, we can get there from here. If there's anywhere to go, we can get there from here. And even more interestingly, we can really get here from here. Not just getting from here to there in the usual gradual progressive seeker model of the path, of progress, but how we can get from here to truly here and not living at a little distance from our body, not being separate from ourselves and thus each other. Healing that gap, not just between self and other, but between self, small ego self, and the supreme transpersonal being, self with a big S, if you want to call it something, our Buddhiness, and integrate those two. So we carry more lightly our own background and body type and neuroses. Like people say to me, are you still Jewish? I say, yeah, I'm Jewish on my parents' side, but I'm a Buddhist by, ba by training, choice, and inclination. I'm a Buddhist. But you can integrate more lightly, or I have different names, you know, but we all have different names, really. Your daughter calls you daddy or papa, and your wife calls you I won't say what. And we have different names, but we all know who we're talking about. So it's like the thousand faces of God. It's facets of, this, of the, the wholeness.